Thank you. Our other big story at five right now. Four students arrested after several guns were found on CCSD campuses across our valley. Two guns recovered from El Dorado High School in the east part of town. One recovered from Mojave High School in North Las Vegas and another gun at Escobedo Middle School up in Centennial Hills. My co-anchor Abel Garcia joins us now and Abel, I know you've been following this story all morning long. What are students and parents telling you today? Yeah, most certainly, Trisha. As soon as we found out and we heard about these guns being at multiple schools throughout the entire valley, we decided to come on over to El Dorado High School as soon as possible, where we found some students and we asked them what they have been seeing throughout the morning. They said they did see a school police. They did see school police here at the location as they were looking for where that suspect was exactly. We then left. We didn't find much, but then we returned to find a mother who seemed very concerned. When I asked her what was wrong, she showed me what she calls a very disturbing email. Today, CCSD police investigated a report of a weapon on campus. Two firearms were recovered and two juveniles were arrested. This was the email that Heidi Garcia received from El Dorado High School's principal, Christina Brockett, that left her speechless and very worried safety concern children are they really safe in the campus Clark County School District Police Lieutenant Brian Zink told me by phone Tuesday's incidents began just after 8 a.m. at El Dorado High School over the weekend school police were tipped to social media chatter about the possibility of a student bringing a firearm to school this week after launching an investigation they found a student with the gun on campus that student then told police about another student also with the gun on campus they were located and the second gun was recovered. They were both placed under arrest and transported to juvenile booking for minor in possession of a firearm, carrying a concealed weapon and possession dangerous weapon school property. But El Dorado wasn't the only school with guns on campus Tuesday morning. Lieutenant Zink says around 938, a family reported a firearm missing. Police tracked it down to Mojave High School where the gun was recovered. Shortly after that, around 10 a.m., police recovered a tip from inside Escobedo Middle School that a student there also had a gun. Lieutenant Zink says in total, that is four guns recovered from three different schools and four students arrested for minor in possession of a firearm, carrying a concealed weapon, and possession of a dangerous weapon on school property. Garcia says this is unacceptable and the safety of her two students continues to be jeopardized. At this point, I don't even know they could even control it anymore. Clark County Education Association President Marie Nysis says they will hold the district accountable to ensure the safety of everyone in our schools. She says there should be zero tolerance for weapons on campus and there should be serious consequences for the students involved. It's alarming because we, we cannot have this happen. We can't wait until, God forbid, a child actually or a student kills someone before we have immediate action or, or severe consequences. And just like Garcia, right now there are many, many parents who are concerned about their student safety. Just last week, last Friday, at Palo Verde High School, a kid was arrested for having a handgun on campus. So, of course, there is a lot of concern right now. We actually met up with a mother who has a student at Palo Verde High School, and she says right now she is just very concerned about having to take her daughter to school every day, unsure of what's going to happen next. Now, CCSD police say the ninth grader had the weapon in their backpack and claimed to have have it for their protection. The incident led to an eight minute lockdown with students huddled in a classroom with the shade down over the window. And again, this mother says she hopes this come to an end very soon. Where are these kids getting all these guns from? Right. And um, it's not just about gun laws like they're obviously getting it from their parents. And you know what's going on there? Like I feel like there's such a deeper story. Police say they were alerted the gun after a teacher used their personal safety lanyard to notify authorities and the student is facing several weapons related charges. Now, of course, for some perspective, we also had 13 investigates to look at some of those numbers for you. And right now we have our chief investigator Darcy Spears, who joins us now in studio with a breakdown of those numbers, Darcy, and also other critical information about what we have found in our school so far.
Yeah, Abel, as of today, school police tell us they've recovered 25 guns on CCSD campuses just since this school year began. That's up 32% from this time last year when school police had confiscated 19 guns. Students are also bringing other weapons to school campuses. According to CCSD's firearms confiscation report, which was last updated on February 7th, police had also recovered 25 BB guns, one long gun, 100 38 knives and 28 other weapons at Valley Elementary, Middle and High Schools. The total for all weapons this time last year was 183. As of today, we're at 217 so far this year. That's a 19% jump year to year.